Hey, the Posey Gloves here. I'm wearing a hat. Today I'm going to show you how to add these samples from battery to your FL Studio browser right here. So you see I have them open. I can, you know, choose different samples from the same library that this thing would pull up over here. So let's go ahead and do this. I, because sometimes you prefer to just do it this way. First, open up a battery as I have here. You need to identify where the files are. That's why we're doing this. So we go in, we go to edit preferences. In preferences, you will have a library tab. In your library tab, it will say where your samples are. So you see, I actually have mine on a separate drive than where this application is. So mine's on the NI Libraries Battery 4 on my external hard drive. So now I'm like, okay, cool. That's where they are. All you do now, hit F10 or go to options and go to the file option. So you come here, go options, file settings. And as you see, it just closed it. But if we click it, there it is. And then we have the ability to add files. You can actually rename stuff over here. So the way it'll show up over here will be dependent on the browser name that you give it. And all you do is you click a new folder icon, you browse to the location. So mine was on an external hard drive. So if I go to not network, this PC, and then I'm gonna go over to gloves plug because that's my external hard drive. And on here, I can dig through, I believe it said it was in the NI libraries folder. And it's like the battery for a library and I click okay. And you see now I should have two of them. See battery for factory library. And it's got the same junk except for what I have here is the only folder you're really concerned with is the samples folder. We don't care about this kits or documentation folder. So what you do is you open it up and you go back to where you selected your thing. And just make sure that when you go into the factory library, select the samples and click OK. And now you'll only have the samples, but it's named samples. See, so maybe you want to, you know, label it. So you're going to double click and name it battery. And this may need to be refreshed. So if, oh, oh you just close it. And there you go. Now I have two of them. So in order to undo that, because I don't want two of them, I'd come in here, go to the file setting again by hitting F10. I'd simply click this and click. Actually, I would just simply click and delete that and it will go away no more there now i'm good to go so that is how you add the samples and now you can come in here you know grab some samples and choose it i really enjoy the sample. i think this is a great sample library i think it's super intuitive so that is how you add the battery samples to the evo studio browser if you have any questions let me know subscribe if you found this useful and have a blessed day